Hello. Uh, I'm not even sure if I know what the images are because I've forgotten which ones I've picked. So it'll be a bit of a... Uh, the, 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 uh, I got told the title is something like, you know, everything is better than your desk. But for the first five or six years, all I ever did was shoot uh, interiors of, of people's houses. Uh, so I thought I'd start off on this image. Uh, it was a friend of uh, my sister's house in Australia. Um, his office, and I just liked the way that it had no family pictures. It was a picture of his car instead. Uh, Tour de France a couple years ago. Um, I've always shot on a plate camera, and it was like trying to capture um, things that are very fast moving, but it, you know, in a uh, with a camera that you can't. So it was um, hiked up the same one with this one as well. This is a. Um, uh, belly ball championships down in Cornwall that they have. Uh, there's some rule, no wetsuits allowed. You have to wear a woolen bathing costume. Um, all the 80-year-olds ran in without glitching. Everybody else was like dipping their toe in the water and go oh, a little bit cold. Don't think I'm going to go in there. Uh, went to China, work on my first book. Uh, for the first four days, uh, absolutely no lights. So on the last one, it was like running around, uh, being driven by this awesome Chinese taxi driver called Wan Ping. Uh, and this is me in the back trying to load film while he skids around corners. Uh, I find loading film hard enough as it is. Um, this was me. This year I, I started working on a film uh, for a couple that are climbing Everest uh, next year. And this was the first one, Ben Nevis. I've not climbed for about 20 years. Um, and uh, the, guide, the guide that I had decided not to tie me in on the rope on the first really hard climb. So as you can see, this is me hanging on for dear life, slightly crawling across the rock rather than everybody else that walked across it. Uh, and I, I think I sat there for about four minutes just, just lying there, just going, I'm going to have a little breather now. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then luckily I didn't fall off, which is always a... And then uh, third book, uh, Ferry Journeys Around the UK. So it's just trying to capture the, uh, I'd say nothingness of life, really. But it's <laughs> blandness, nothingness, but it's just the captain. Now, I mean, I think he should probably be at the front of the boat driving it, but <laughs> he's having a coffee. Uh, same thing with uh, Action Seagull, trying to shoot this on a plate camera. So I sat there, uh, got pooped on quite a lot as they flew round and round, uh, and then eventually got uh, one shot that I was uh, pretty happy with, sort of thing. Um, now, obviously in this day and age, everything is done digitally, but I still like to occasionally uh, do things analog if possible. So this was my presentation to the client of how we should crop things by just cutting things and masking tape it together when they're expecting me to show it on the laptop. I was going, this, this works much better. Um, uh, this was a shoot I did for Reebok uh, about six or so years ago, and it was the week before uh, FA Cup final week, and we had about 20 of these lights on the pitch that were slowly sinking into the pitch, but um, the groundsman seemed quite calm about it all. We were like, I'm not sure the two FA Cup final teams will be. Uh, this is me smashing myself in the face on a shoot that I did. I was trying to get out of the water, uh, I don't normally take many shots on a shoot. I got out of the water after this and found that I'd taken 507 because all I'd been doing was pressing the, um, the shutter uh, on the thing. I was like, oh, OK. And most of them were just my face. <laughs> um, this was a shoot for O'Neill um, for one of their... They do a cold water surf event. And same thing, it was, like not try, it was trying not to document um, the actual surfing, but it was like what happens at the event. So it was like trying to go a bit wider, pull back. Uh, it was only a couple of years ago I started shooting people. Um, and it's trying to treat it in the same calmness that I do uh, interiors and things. And it's just let people read their own mind uh, into the, the people. So I did a series of um, bearded and moustached men. Um, he had an awesome beard. Uh, and then he shaved it off the day before. I was like, cheers. Um, <laughs> Doing a series of uh, car interiors, so again, same thing. It's like at the moment, that's what I'm working on, just going around, uh, just photographing people's cars. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. Um, and then this one was um, 
Well, this was the same time as the Tour de France. This was up in Brittany, and I don't know if this man was uh, at the uh, one of the uh, contestants at the Tour with his lovely Lycra outfit, <laughs> but his poor children um, were a little bit like, I can't get away quick enough uh, from these people. Uh, exhibition last year, again, same thing, because I shoot on film. I, I wanted to kind of try and just put everything up that I'd shot for that project. My first book, I think I shot in 10 days. This one took three and a half years, but it was an excuse that I could go surfing every time I went and shot something. Um, so I just put every piece of work that I had for that. Uh, that was uh, from the first, uh, my China book, and uh, an art director just rang me and said, oh, there's an ad that was meant to run, the clients pulled it. Can we photograph your, can we put your donkey shot up uh, on a billboard in Shepherd's Bush? I was like, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Um, and then again, same thing. Uh, this one was uh, for a surf client, and I'd built myself a waterproof housing, weighed it out, and just as I was taking the series of photos, managed to pull a big button out that was the only thing sealing it, uh, dropped it in the water, and I saw it float away. So then swam quickly and with my thumb over the end. Uh, this was in Morocco where I nearly got escorted out. I was taking this about four minute exposure. Uh, photographing, suddenly at the corner of my eye, I saw two very large Moroccan men running at me. Uh, and I managed to just time the, the shot, grab the camera, run out the door, much to the amusement of my friends who were stood outside, not trying to help at all. Uh, and this was a shoot for Frank uh, that I did, um, drugs awareness thing, but it was more the fact um, that my assistant rang me and said, I was Googling 10.8 cameras the other day, and you come up in the top five images on Google of you sat in a toilet with a camera. <laughs> um, so I was like, can we remove that, please? That's it. <laughs>